Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Vice.com or Vice Labs and actually the question if it's still a good idea to buy their product so why would it even matter this time you would think yeah it's just a product we buy it we use it and then uh, yeah we dump it into trash so uh, what's the problem if there's a problem with this company the thing is actually they had a quite some problems and why it matters especially when you are using products which cloud integration you could face quite some problems in the future not only about that it is also regarding support and warranty and so on imagine this company wouldn't be around anymore after you buy such a product i mean warranty if you have something i don't know i mean you have a couple of days on amazon or any other store but after that you will be probably be out of luck when you want to send it back after half a year and want to have a warranty exchange or any support yeah when the company is uh, out of business then uh, you could have a problem especially with the cameras and other things which uh, with cloud integration also these wise plugs and wise lock and uh, yeah other things i mean everything is connected in the cloud and if you don't have access to the cloud i mean somebody has to pay for the cloud for the server and server space and uh, cpu and those things they are probably just rented on amazon or google or yeah wherever and if they are going out of business then uh, yeah you're out of luck i don't know if such a camera even would still work i mean you technically can add a sd card and it stored everything here but uh, if the cloud goes offline i don't know if there will if it will still work could be that there are some things which they check online and if they are not available anymore nothing will work the app maybe won't work camera won't work i don't know uh, i have no idea i can't tell you but um i think it would be a huge handicap for all these products here and i mean a lot of people are buying that and uh so why do i actually think that it could be a problem it started a couple of weeks ago when somebody came out regarding a security breach and uh, yeah at the beginning i tried to hide it but at the end uh, yeah it was even posted everywhere it was even new york times everywhere data breach wise labs exposed information of 2.4 million customers and the data breach lasted 23 days and uh, yeah at the end uh, i still don't know what the real extent was and where uh, the all the data went some people were speculating that uh, the data even uh, have been sold or yeah brought to china and now yeah a lot of people will have probably access to your data and the question is also what kind of data it is of course they said yeah it's not passwords but still uh, i mean if you have been using wise cams and so you probably noticed that you lost connection to cloud you had to re-enter passwords and those things so i mean i haven't felt any big change apart from that i'm using still quite some of their products but yeah i'm a little bit worried about that and the problem is it was not their first data breach here's something i haven't been reading the whole thing but uh, it was also posted on another website and they said yeah about six months so he was he received seven months ago the, it was posted on the reddit that obviously some people had access to a private camera feeds and so on uh, yeah it's quite long here if you want you can read that it's on uh, yeah you see the 
uh, URL. But uh, anyway, I think it was really something. It was not just nothing uh, because yeah, it's a it's a huge threat here. And regarding this data breach, some law firms even came out with uh, class actions against them. Uh, yeah, that c could definitely cost a lot of money i don't know how serious that is and that's not everything about bad news regarding wise labs here there was uh, i think it was yeah november it was posted that wise cam is about to lose person detection but they say it will return soon but when we see how much problem they have probably also financially with all these problems all these uh, extra um yeah extra cost which they will have extra expenses which they will have to face regarding these legal things and and so i mean and and they say yeah they will return with ai ai i mean artificial intelligence person detection they would have to invest more money or more people into that to develop that i mean that's not an easy thing i mean by the way it's not such a big deal. I mean, I have been trying to work with this person detection and uh, it, it was not a big thing. I mean, it can help a little bit, but maybe uh, if you want to really rely on that, you uh, are in a false safety or um, however we can describe that. Uh, you, can, you cannot really rely on that. The problem is the resolution of the camera is just not uh, enough to have really person detection. I mean, person detection didn't mean that you can, that the camera will tell you, oh, Peter was coming, oh, uh, Susan was leaving and uh, whatsoever. It was just saying, it's a person. I mean, they tried to to distinguish between like uh, animals, person, uh, just a, a like a tree shaking in the wind, uh, some uh, such things, and it helped to a certain degree if person are close enough. But uh, it, it it was uh, quite faulty, and but it, it, I think it's not a problem with just wise. The problem is just if you have cameras with such low resolution. Uh, then it's just impossible. I have other cameras too. They claim they have person detection, but they absolutely don't work reliable. But still, it there are a lot of negative news. And when I see the quality also uh, of their products, I mean, I've been buying two of their Vice plugs. And I mean, they, they, are, they are working. But if you check the user interface the programming the scheduling that's that's horrible that's the worst which you can do not even the cheapest chinese manufacturer would do such a bad job on integrating the scheduling i've heard from people here in the us they were contacting the support and not even with the support they were able to create a suitable scheduling and so I did a video on that, how to do that. And people are really happy about that. So I was showing them uh, like a workaround or showing them how to do that. It's crazy. It's just uh, not looking very beautiful, not really uh, looking positive for this company, definitely. And if you rely on warranty and support and especially this free rolling 14 days cloud storage, which is huge. I mean, I really like this thing on this camera. It makes it so much easier to handle everything. But if you don't have this anymore and maybe you are stuck with a device which just is not working anymore. So, I mean, I'm not telling you not to buy any of these pro their products. I mean, I actually still like this company, whatever they did. And uh, I mean, at least the positive things, what, what they did coming out with products which are still quite cheap but have a decent amount of quality and functionality and integration and so they, they really i think had a good idea and they wanted to come out with almost everything which uh, can be connected and uh, but uh, maybe they tried 
too much and they they neglected a lot of things and it's not looking good but uh, it's your decision if you still want to buy or not but i just wanted to warn you about problems around that so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time